I used to hear early 70s that you know people uh, a lot of singers in Bengal mainly Calcutta actually would call their music urban folk music but I don't know why somehow or the other it changed all of a sudden and they started calling it Jibon Mukhi songs but I think I'm not too good in understanding the Bengali lyrics uh, but uh, I think I think uh, Till a certain point, music in Bengal, the Jibon Mukhi music, was very satirical. For money, but if you don't, that's a shame. Iran's peaceful struggle is a suicide, the jury says. But she's only pleading for peace in the land so her people can smile. This is a song for peace and freedom. This is a song for hope. This is a song for tomorrow, sung today. Sunshine shining my way brings to me a brand new day. Winter's time, the season's dry. Little children stare and cry. Morning dew, the season's dreams are gone away. What do they do? They do not know Winter baby hopes to know Late 60s, early 70s, when young people globally were trying to change the world, uh, this was after, it was very dichotomous time, the 70s was, and there was the Vietnam War, which was a shame on humanity. And there was this uh, technological imperialism by, uh, of the space program. I am a walking, talking contradiction, living in an age of fiction. Nucleonic, subbionic, ultrasonic circumspection. The Nakshalites happened, then the airlines hijacker, there was you know, there were people looking for nirvana, there, were peop there was the women's liberation, and all this kind of thing was happening. Religion was uh, finding, finding uh, getting into this whole terminology of spiritualism. <laughs> Statutory territory in a state of hunky dory, notwithstanding allegory. So, all this thing was happening. It was dichotomous times. And music played a great part because people started to write about the Vietnam War, people started to write about the universality of uh, and brotherhood of man, of persons. And so, the people started to talk about city life. And how you know Simon and Garfunkel spoke of sound of silence, spoke of uh, homeward bound, and things like boxer. A lot of songs were being written. Leonard Cohen, Dylan, Pete Seeger. Of course, Pete Seeger was very, very folk. He uh, he he started to write about things a, a little later than Dylan. And so this whole concept of earlier what was happening a folk singer say in the west was called a contemporary folk singer then when there was dissent and political songs they became protest poets and so the terminologies were constantly changing and therefore even even here in india uh, the uh, in the confusion there was i was about what i was about 17 or 18 and i decided to make a statement as well because everybody was doing so and i wrote this song called walking talking contradiction it goes something like this to 
moving all directions.